Okay, ever since the release of iOS 17, I heard a lot of complaints in regards to battery performance on your iPhone. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you guys a handful of tips that will immediately quickly improve the battery life of your device with just a few simple options. Let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, obviously, first things first, you want to make sure that your iPhone is up to date. So make sure you go into settings, general, software update, and make sure you update the software on your iPhone. Now, another thing you want to look into is your app updates as well. Even if you have the automatic app updates enabled on your device you want to head on over into the app store click on your avatar refresh your app store settings and you could find a new updates that have not already updated your apps just yet so you can go ahead and update all your applications and make sure that your third-party applications are up to date believe it or not sometimes these third-party applications can overload the software can overload the operating system draining your battery a lot quicker so make sure you do those two things first so now I want to jump into some of the options and settings you can enable or disable in order to improve battery life now this first one is a pro tip so if you have a pro iphone you can head on over into settings you can go into the accessibility options and under accessibility, you want to head on over into motion now in motion you have this option right below here at the bottom that's called limit frame rate now the pro devices usually run at 120 hertz which is a faster refresh rate this will limit the refresh rate to 60 so 60 hertz of course is cutting down in half which means it improves the battery life your iphone doesn't have to refresh the display so quickly and believe it or not i've shown two devices to various users with a 120 and a 60 hertz display and many users can't even tell the difference so if you don't mind the 60 hertz limit then this will actually improve the battery life once you enable this feature on your iphone because of course it is using less resources in order to power that display so yeah limiting the frame rate on your pro iphone will definitely improve the battery life now this next option has to do with your carrier your 5g on your iPhone and now 5G of course it's a lot faster now if you go into settings if you go into your cell data options right here so cell data options you go into voice and data you find standalone 5G now if I'm traveling and I know where I'm going the 5G is predominant network I enable this feature because of course the call quality and performance of FaceTime and download speeds are a lot faster however Apple says here that this may impact the battery life of your device however some carriers do have this enabled by default so if you want to go ahead and improve the battery life of your iPhone and don't really care for standalone 5G, you want to make sure you toggle that off. And now, of course, you'll be able to preserve some of that battery life. Apple themselves mentions that standalone 5G, of course, being a faster network could impact the battery life of your device. So make sure you take a look at that setting and make sure it is turned off. Now, this next one is a major one. A lot of people don't know about this one, but it has to do with the haptics on your iPhone. So if we jump into settings here and we go into sound and haptics, we have several options here for haptic so if we tap into here we have always play we have play in silent do not play in silent mode or never play this is for ringtones and alerts now if you click on never play of course that means that you'll never get the haptics when your iphone gives you any alerts or any rings right so now it will never use that taptic engine inside of your iphone which therefore will improve the battery life on your iphone and now apple themselves mentions that if you also disable the keyboard or haptic so here's apple's website this could actually improve the battery life on your iphone apple says turning on keyboard haptics may impact the battery life of your iphone so how do you turn off keyboard haptics so you want to go into settings once again of course you want to go into sound and haptics and then you want to scroll down and right here you'll find a keyboard feedback so right here we have the keyboard feedback we can go in here and turn on the haptics for the keyboard now if you don't mind not having any feedback or vibrations or haptics when you type on your device this will dramatically improve the battery life because once again it is not using that taptic engine inside of your iPhone in order to preserve some of that battery life on your device and this is also mentioned by Apple and you can go even further and eliminate system haptics if you wish and therefore your battery life will go even further when you turn all these haptics off now haptics are awesome because it gives your device sort of life but at sometimes if you need to preserve that battery life this is how you do it and these are some of the simple options and tips I recommend in order to immediately improve the battery life of your iPhone running iOS 17. Let me know if you're using any of these in those comments down below or if you have any personal recommendations. I would appreciate if you leave it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.